company was Pinterest. There wasn't a lot about Pinterest because it was only founded four years ago. Um, Pinterest was founded by Paul Piscara, Evan Sharp, and Ben Simerman. It was found in November 2009. The concept of Pinterest was created. Um, it was first launched on November or in March 2010 and has been active for over four years now. In March 2011, Pinterest introduced their iPhone app. About Pinterest, it was it's managed by Cold Brew Labs and funded by a small group of entrepreneurs and investors. They have 330 plus employees and over 30 million users. It's available in 22 different languages, which are all listed. The idea behind Pinterest. Pinterest was created as a tool to visually discover ideas, to create collections, share, and organize ideas. There are many different ways Pinterest can be used. Some are wedding planning, inspiration, crafting ideas, decorating, and many, many more. Pinterest users. Pinterest is used predominantly by women. A recent study showed that 80% of Pinterest users are female. In the last two years, Pinterest has become more commonly used in corporate marketing strategies. Companies can use Pinterest as their visual, virtual storefront and it can appeal to a different kind of customers than would normally be seen in their just online websites. How Pinterest works. First, you sign up, which is a free membership, and if you have Facebook or Twitter, you can link it to your Facebook and Twitter and you don't have to sign up for anything else. It just syncs with your other account. Pinterest main components are boards and pins. Boards are made up of pins. A pin is a picture, whether it be a product or just an idea, it's a picture that comes up and if you click on the picture, it brings you to a link. And you can take individual pins and put them in group boards, so you make category boards. So for example, you could have like a college board and pin all your college ideas for like your dorm rooms and study habits on the board. Um, pinners can also comment on pins, like them and repin them. And all the pins that you can follow different people on Pinterest, so all of your followers come up on a feed, and also relating pins to what you pin come up on a different feed. You can click like your following feed or like relatable feed. Um, an example of the home page, this is the home page of like your followers. So those are all the things that your followers are pinning. And then you have your own profile. So you can have a picture and then like a quote or a saying, and then those are all different boards that this specific person has. So it looks like she's um, a chef, so she has different recipe boards, so other people can look at those. And you can also have some boards that are personal or private. Um, other uses for Pinterest, um, I know that teachers use them to find lesson plans and ideas. Also, sometimes teachers use them and have their students do assignments on Pinterest. Um, small business owners use them to make themselves more well known. And event planners also use them to come up with more ideas or new ideas for events. Um, there's also a video. Is it okay if I show a video? Sure. There's a volume over here on that. Thank you. 
Pinterest released that video just to explain better how to use Pinterest because a lot of people were intimidated by Pinterest, like would go to it and didn't understand it, so they were just didn't use it as much. So like last year they released that video to create a better understanding.